Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. Before you replace the flywheel key in your leaf blower, make sure the engine has cooled and the on-off switch is in the off position. Remove the wire and boot from the spark plug. Use a 3 quarter inch socket or a spark plug wrench to help loosen and remove the plug. Now use a T25 Torx bit screwdriver to unthread the mounting screws, securing the engine cover. With the screws removed, carefully detach the cover. Next, remove the blower tube if still intact. Now unthread all of the screws, securing the blower cover. With the screws removed, pull off the cover. Confirm that the piston is in the down position. Then insert a cord into the cylinder to prevent the piston from moving. Now rotate the blower wheel counterclockwise to unthread the fan hub. Use a mallet to help loosen the flywheel. Then pull the flywheel off of the crankshaft. You can use pliers or a wire cutter to remove the old flywheel key, if still intact. Install the new flywheel key by inserting the rounded edge into the slot in the crankshaft. Replace the flywheel by aligning the notch in the flywheel with the new flywheel key. Realign the hub and blower wheel on the crankshaft and rotate the blower wheel clockwise until secure. Remove the cord from the cylinder. Make sure the blower tube lock is in place, then reposition the blower cover. Thread and tighten all of the screws to secure. Reinstall the blower tube. Confirm that the throttle linkage is in place, then realign the engine cover. Replace the mounting screws to secure the cover. Rethread the spark plug. Be careful not to strip the threads by over tightening. Reattach the wire and boot to the plug. With the repair completed, turn the on off switch to the on position, and your leaf blower should be ready for use.